Hello. How's it going? Um, quickly, 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 quickly today. Um, just because I don't have a whole lot to talk about. But first things first, it is our own Coffee Stitcher's birthday. Happy birthday, man. Have a good one. I think I saw in one of your videos from a few weeks ago that your plan today is to get out of work early and then go hit your needle workshop and I hope that works out for you and uh, show us what you get. Yes, pretties. Um, I have not one, not two, but four finishes to show. And hold on a sec. Is it four? One, two, three, four, five. Because the baby sweater is totally finished. It's an FFO. I finished both button bands and then I washed it and I blocked it and I went to Joann's and I found these buttons that I thought they're not too cutesy. I think they're kind of classy and elegant. It's for, for the classy baby. Um, so, yeah, I don't know, uh, I don't know who's going to wear this, but if anyone is expecting a baby in the winter time, let me know. Maybe I'll have a nice, soft, purple sweater. It's hand, it's, it's, um, it's super wash wool, as I think I mentioned before, because really, if you give something to the parents of a newborn that needs to be hand washed. Um, uh, then you are a sadist. Or maybe you're just kind of clueless and, you know, but uh, for those of you who might not have known that that makes you a sadist, it does. I mean, generally with hand knits, it's always best to hand wash them. They tend to last longer that way. But, I mean, come on, this is a newborn size sweater. It's going to fit the kid for like three weeks. The washing machine is not going to kill it. But, anyway, so, a knitted finish. And then... Ba, 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 ba. It's done. The wretched hive of scum and villainy is done. It's done like dinner. Well, it's not done like dinner because I haven't actually decided what I'm doing with it yet. I'm 99% sure that I'm going to try and make a pillow out of it, but um, that's going to require me to brush up on my sewing skills and etc. But this was super, super fun, and I love it. My partner loves it. My kid loves it. It's going to be a great addition to the living room at some point. Um, Ta-da. All the cross-stitch that I had been planning to do for Mother's Day cards this year are done, and they've been washed. They just need to be ironed and then trimmed and frayed and put onto cards. Um, so here is the one I did for my mom, the sort of old school ink kind of, kind of deal, which coming from me, I think she'll appreciate. And this one is from my mother-in-law and I... The lettering is off by one stitch, and at first I was like, it's not quite perfect and a little off, which is kind of fitting because it's very similar to my relationship with my mother-in-law. But then the perfectionist in me, uh, I'm going to have to, I mean, it's going to take me all of 10 minutes to fraud the letters and restitch them. So why the hell not, right? My favorite, which I'm actually worried that it was not actually a free pattern because I couldn't actually find the pattern. Um, and I had to, oh, damn it. 
I forgot to turn off the AC. We just installed our window air conditioners, so, um, and uh, we have them on environ environmentally friendly mode, so they're not on constantly, they just kick on occasionally. Oh, okay. So, anyway, um, this little mini, if you recognize it from someplace and um, it does need to be paid for, please, please, please let me know um, because then I will buy it. Number one, because I don't like to be that guy. Like, I'm going to pay for shit. And secondly, I really, really enjoyed doing this. I did not enjoy the eye strain I got from trying to count and figure out stuff from just the picture on the internet. So if paying for this, in addition to being ethical, also means that I cannot get eye strain the next time I want to do this, that's a bonus. So if you recognize this as not a free pattern, and you know where I can buy it, please, 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 please let me know. Because um, I really love this. This is going to be for my Nana the teapot and cup. This was my very favorite that I did. I think it was my very favorite just because I saw it a few weeks ago when I was starting to plan this project and it just screamed Nana to me. Like for my mom and for my mother-in-law I kind, of, I kind of had to ho-hum around and find something that was like, yeah, that'll work. Um, and I think they'll like them. But this just, like, do you ever, you know, see, like, a pattern, be it for cross-stitch or knitting or crochet or macrame or welding, whatever it is you do that just, you know, just smacks you in the face like this person in your life. It is for them. Um, it was like that with this so yeah and this I did this within a few hours I did both of these I think in practice within within 36 hours these were done not 36 hours of constant stitching but it was you know I still lived my life and made dinner and chased my kid and talked to my husband and all of that but talked to clients and fed the cats, but uh, they were they were fun. So that's kind of all I got. Stitch Mania is coming, and I'm not really, I'm cheerleading for Stitch Mania, uh, but I have a couple of projects that I do want to start in May, just so that, you know, solidarity, doing something new in May with the Stitch Mania folks. Um, so I kind of got those all kitted up and ready to go. So I'm pretty pleased about that. Um, what else, what else, what else? Oh, something cool. I was at Ikea over the weekend. And I got this light that clips onto things. And it's got kind of a snaky, snaky, snaky. And I just thought this would be perfect for like taking places um, just even just around my house because I don't really have a stitchy spot like I often stitch because I have a, um, a lot of digital patterns and I don't have a tablet so when I, I'm using a digital pattern I'm usually here at my desk but for I thought for even for reading even for knitting even for whatever I thought this would be really handy and it came with a bunch of it comes it comes in a bunch of different colors it's about fifteen dollars American um, you can find them in the lighting section in Ikea um, and it has a nice grippy thing oh and the grippy and the clamp has suction cups on it so anyway I just thought I would share that because if you have an Ikea near you you might want to you might want to pick it up they have uh, one that's ten U ten dollars US um, that doesn't have the clamp. It just will sit on your desk, but it's also got the nice, you know, adjustable 
um, it's adjustable. So I think that one only comes in black. But uh, just putting that out there for y'all. Um, I think that's all I have today. Probably my shortest video. Um, Stitch Mania, I am really excited for it, and I'm not even like actually participating in a stitching kind of way. I've met a lot of new people on the Facebook group. Everyone's really, everyone just seems really great and excited, and it's so, I love seeing your plans and the photos you throw up, like, this is what I'm doing. And uh, I've, you know, I've seen some cool patterns that, you know, I might want to track down, and it's going to be really fun, and I'm really looking forward to it, and you all are going to kick ass. It's going to be great. So, yeah, have a great week. I look forward to hearing from all of you and seeing what's going on with Stitch Mania, and if you're not doing Stitch Mania, I still look forward to hearing from you. I love your videos, um, and I'm rambling, so I'm going to go now. <laughs>